Yo, yo, what's up? This is the major upside down always, and I get my R&B from this is r and Um, I think it's all driven behind art, man. Just wanting to and just having that passion to just create and wanting to make different art styles and wanting to let the world see it. And so through my things, like through my videos, like you said, I didn't have. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a, lot of a lot of artists just be like, yo, I signed to the label. All right, where's the budget? You know what I'm saying? They're just waiting. But for me, I was about like, yo, like, I feel blessed to do music. Like, some people, I feel like they're always complaining. What are you complaining about, dog? Like, people are doing, people are doing jobs and, you know, hammering nails and stuff, like, all day. And their backs hurting in the sun for pennies over, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like I have to, I feel blessed to be able to do that. And, and I feel like, if I'm this fortunate to be able to do that, I need to be, I need to take it serious, you know, and, and that's how, and that's what I do, I take it seriously, you know. Drop Bun B. That's true. Remember that album? That's great. Bun B Trill. I had it in my door and I would put it up on the wall. And I would put it up. Watch this, that wall, you know, walk in, like check my check that out. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah. was, that was my thing. It helped out a lot. It helped out. Yeah, you know, it helped out with that. <laughs> it helped out for man. With like Trouble as my first song, I think that that is the that is the first song in the series of, in, in the style that I made up. I call it upscale, the upscale sound. Like you can call it upscale R&B, upscale urban, but I just call it the upscale sound. I feel like if you look at if you take it's like the, it's like the, it's like the, the drug dealer in the in the hood or the hustler or whatever. Has on Gucci shoes, you know what I'm saying? Cause he's still in the hood, he's hustling, or he even got to be drunk. He could be, he could be doing something. But he got on something a little fly. It's like the, the Escalade. It's not, it's not the Rolls Royce. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's somewhere in that, in between there, and that's what. That's why I feel like that sound is. It's clean. It's kind of expensive a little bit, like, and that's where I'm, you know, kind of like the style I'm gonna explore for, for some songs on my album is like it's upscale, and I feel like that's, I feel like Trouble's kind of sound like that, like, and that's what I was worried about when I first made it. I didn't know. It, it would be able to get on the radio, bitch, because those type of sounds, you know what I'm saying, are, and, I mean, when you're creating something new, it, it's kind of hard to break through. Cool and crazy story, The crazy story, I was in this, this club, on this promo tour, like, hood club. And this dude, it was good, man. And, and I'm on, on stage, and this dude lifted his boy up. By his waist, he lifted him up, so that the dude could throw gang signs up at me. Like, whoa, bro, you know, what's up? <laughs> like, you know, check out Upside Down, you know, it's my, <laughs> check out my shit. So, but no, nah, I mean, I fuck, with, I fuck with all those people. So it was, it was, it was a funny story, though, just to see. Because I didn't know what they were doing. I'm like, oh, man, what's going on? Dude start repping his shit. I was like, yo, rep your shit, bro, if that's how you feel, you know? 